Hey Crystal Berries, hey it's the also Dan here and welcome back to more Fall Fantasy Dissidia for the PS4. So last part guys, we did Terra Brandford. And basically now we're gonna do my one of my favorite Fall Fantasy characters, Cloud Strife. Fall Fantasy 7 was just a masterpiece of gaming. It was so good that they actually made a movie. They made a movie sequel of it. It wasn't really like a direct it was actually a direct sequel, but it was just It was a masterpiece of animation. Like, Final Fantasy VII, it's called Advent of Children. I highly, highly, HIGHLY recommend you go see Final Fantasy VII Advent of Children. That was just one of the- there only been three Final Fantasy movies. Two of them, they're based on the game. One of them, uh, we, we, don't, we don't talk about that it's, it's, We don't ever, ever talk about, mention, or even give a shit about that one. There's two Final Fantasy movies. Two, two of the good ones, okay? The other one was shit. Two of the good ones. There's Final Fantasy VII Advent Children and the new one, Final Fantasy XV Kingsclay. They're both, like, masterpieces of animation. And, and those two are prime examples. Are pure prime examples. That you can have a movie based on a popular video game that can still be good. That's prime example. Because here's the thing. Every movie that was based off a video game, it was just... The problem with that is, is that it was just the source material. The source material was a huge problem. And I think when it came to 15 and 7, when they made their movies, there was no problem with source material. They were like, okay, it's a 5, 8, 7, you know, the characters were all there, the characters acted like they act like in the game. They were basically, there wasn't no like, you know, oh, I'm Cloud, like, Cloud Strife was still Cloud Strife. You was still the fucking badass, ugh, not interested. Ugh, guess I gotta kick your ass now. Like, he was still the badass badass as he was in the game, in the movie. He was still... And 7 and 15 should be prime examples, prime head examples of what video game movies should really be about. Like, for like if, for those of you who've seen the Final Fantasy VII Adam and Children, that scene where they all come together, they all reunite to fight Bahamut, Mwah! That Tifa fighting scene where Tifa fights that dude in the church? Mwah! That scene where Cloud reunited with Sephiroth and they have that fucking giant battle? Mwah! Masterpiece of animation! Pure masterpiece! It is, it, you cannot say anything different, okay? Every scene in that movie was nothing short of masterpiece of animation! Holy shit, and Cloud Strife is, he's been influential, like, there's room, there's like been evidence that every character after Final Fantasy, every main character was, like, basically, like, has some sort of, like, influence to Cloud. Like, a lot of people are saying that the Squall Lionheart is basically Cloud. Because if you actually play 7 and 8, if you play 7 and 8, and you actually, like, look at some of the quotes and, like, some of the attitude they have, Squall! It's basically like a younger version of Cloud. Squall is basically like the Squall is basically Cloud. Squall is literally basically like an emo, like more emo version of Cloud. Like it's, it really is. And same thing with Sephiroth. Sephiroth, there, there, like, there's a huge debate between who's a better villain, Sephiroth or Kefka. Me personally, I gotta go with Sephiroth. I gotta go because he was just every villain after Sephiroth wasn't wasn't compared to Sephiroth wasn't good. Like for example, Ultimatia. It was freaking confusing, like, sorry, you don't, you don't actually get to see Ultimatia until, like, the very end of the game. Like, you don't get to, like, you didn't mention of her, but you don't actually get to see her fight her until the end of the game. You know, Kuja, yeah, you don't get to, like, fight, really, you get to see Kuja and all that shit, but you don't really get to fight him, fight him until, like, the end of the game. Jaquette, you don't even get to fight you. The cat really, there's a room, there's, like, debate whether or not Jaquette was really the main villain of Final Fantasy X. There's a lot of rumor of, like, if he really was the main villain of Final Fantasy X, that wasn't me. Same thing with fucking 12. I don't know. Like, I haven't finished my playthrough of 12 yet. But from what I can gather, Gabroth is like the main villain. He's... Mm, mm -mm. 13. Yeah, once again, we're not touching 13. We're not touching the shittery that is 13. But I have to say, with Omriant from Final Fantasy 15, the main villain from Final Fantasy 15, I gotta admit, he is... He is really good. He is a, he is as good as Kefka, Kefka and Sephiroth. That's a good... He's actually up there. He's not, he, he has earned his place next to Sephiroth and Kafka. That's how good he is. He has earned his place. So any further nerd babbling of me just rambling on, 
Here we go, guys. Cloud Strife. Most of cloud attacks can be charged, thus increasing their damage. It will affect and ability to run your opponent's defenseless. Yeah, he is a heavy hitter character. He will knock you on your ass faster than you can even say it. Sidesteps and to cancel the charging and throw foes off their game, then take them out. Point opponent attacks. Yeah, he is. I made like like legit. Cloud was my main. Was one my first main. This cross slash. Oh yeah, we're doing this. We're doing cross slash. Midgar. Oh, we're fighting on Midgar. Yes. Yeah. Wait, right, can we get his famous not interested quote? Where is it? Where is it? Does, does it say it? Oh, he, where, where is it? Oh, he doesn't do his famous <laughs> not interested. Oh, I'm so sad. Alright, so last part we saw Rama. Oh, Shiva, what the fuck? <laughs> Shiva looks so good. Holy shit. Alright, here we go, guys. Shiva. See, I'm really sad that we don't get to play in the villains. Like, oh, boy. Oh, Squall? Oh, time to see who's better, Squall or Cloud. Spoiler alert, it's Cloud. Oh my god. Like, oh. Here we go, guys. You're about to see. You're about to see. Oh. Keep your wits about you, and we have not to fear. Just do what you can. Just do what you can. Don't mess up. Duh. Little oh, history. Greetings. Cloud is actually the third person to wield the bucket sword. If you actually like go to the uh, Fabric and Mythos, Fabric and Mythos. Yeah, I'm taking out. I'm taking out. Well, I'm taking out Gambit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, he is actually the third person to wield the bucket sword. I forgot the name of the first person, but if you ever played Crisis Core, which is basically it, it was an okay game, it could have been a lot better. Stop! <laughs> Oh, I'm getting back into it. Oh, I, ooh, I'm getting, I'm getting back into it. I'm getting back into it. Ooh. See, see, so I'm using a character I'm really good with. Now, like you know, you're not about to see me kick my ass. You're not about to see me kick real major ass. Yeah, damn, I missed up that one. Ah, damn, ah, oh. back here, bitch. Yeah, basically, the first person, I forgot his name, I think his name was Angelo, I think. I, I totally forgot, he was like that big dude. But then, the second wielder was Zack. So, basically, I don't want to spoil it for you, but Zack has some really lip break. Can I charge? Oh, I can't charge lip break? Uh, duh, duh, cross slash! Duh, duh, go away! See? Told you I know how you play Cloud. Told you I know how you Cloud. Take out two guys and one cross slash. Da na 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 na. You put up a decent fight. Da na 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 na. Yeah, I know how you use my Cloud. Yeah, see, I know how you use that. Till next we meet. See ya. See, Cloud is... Cloud is just... I... Now we're getting into my GG territory. Now we're getting into GG category. Now, are you ready, guys? I am ready to see some ass kicking. I am ready to see pro Final City characters in pure action. Are you guys ready? When we come back, we're doing a le we're doing lesser cloud. That's what we're gonna call Squall. Qu Squall is basically lesser cloud with his gun blade, which, yeah, I, I shit you not. Literally, he has a half sword, half gun. How does that work? I, I, I don't know. It looks cool. It looks badass. I don't know how the fuck the mechanics work, but, you know, we're, we're not gonna... I think... What was it? I forgot what his squad's rival was. I forgot what his name was. I think it was an S? Cypher! There we go. Cypher. Cypher. He had a gun... He had a gun blade, too, but it looked more like a gun than a blade. It was basically a handgun, but on the barrel was like a sword. <laughs> that's basically it. Like, look like, go look up, go look at Cypher's gun blade. It, it looks so fucking weird. It looks so, like, uncomfortable to wield. It looks like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's basically, it's basically like a handgun with a long ass bayonet attached to it. That's basically it. <laughs> it was so pointless as shit. So when we come back, we're doing Squall Lionheart from Final Fantasy VIII. So thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comment section what do you guys think of Cloud Strife? Like, let me know what you guys think of Cloud Strife and who is your favorite Final Fantasy character. You know what? How about this? Favorite Final Fantasy char main character, like hero, and favorite Final Fantasy villain? Leave it in the comment section. For me, I gotta say it's a tie between either Noctis, 
Cloud, and Zidon. And for villains, yeah, either Sephiroth, um, Ar Armion, Armion, I, I, I can't pronounce the name right. The, the, the main guy, the cool guy, oop, the main evil guy from Final 15, and Kefka. Those are my top three. Let me know who are your top three favorite Final Fantasy heroes and top three favorite Final Fantasy villains. Don't forget, don't forget to click that subscribe button, everybody, and may the light of the crystal be with you. This celestial monster. Then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. When we tried to use it again on someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with.